common problem in CSS is how to handle text overflow. It's represented in the popular CSS is awesome meme, where we've set the width of the box to be smaller than the width of our widest word, and so that word is overflowing the box. So there are various ways to solve this. We can set overflow to hidden, we can set text overflow to ellipsis, uh, something like that. But another thing that we can do is use this property overflow wrap, and we're gonna set it here to break word. Uh, and you can see that now the word awesome is breaking as many times as it needs to in order to fit into the box. That's the proper way to break words. So there's actually several different values that we can use for overflow wrap. Uh, by default, overflow wrap is normal. Uh, we can set it to break word like we did. We can also set it to anywhere, which is a new value that has a little bit less support, is a little bit more aggressive. Right now, it looks like break word and anywhere are doing basically the same thing. What they really change is how min content is calculated. Uh, so if we set the width of each of these boxes, these paragraphs, to min content, you can see that the one that has overflow wrap set to anywhere is now breaking everywhere that it can, which is after one or two letters uh, so that it can get as small as possible. So the difference between break word and anywhere is just how small the box would be by default at its minimum. This is really similar to the word break property, although this is the proper one to use for solving overflow issues. The word break property is really specifically built to handle specific languages uh, that have slightly different rules about word breaking. So in most cases, you're gonna to wanna to use overflow wrap. You can also then add hyphens. Let's just do that. Um, and we can either set hyphens to manual, which will look for places that we've built in hyphens, like I did here in the middle of anti-disestablishmentarianism. Uh, I just added this and shy, uh, and that shy hyphen will only appear when we set hyphens to manual. I can also set hyphens to auto. So hyphens auto is gonna try to auto-generate hyphens based on the language, uh, based on the dictionary provided in the browser or in the operating system. Uh, and that support is gonna be different per language and per browser. But that's only going to work if I explicitly set the language, uh, which I should normally do on the HTML element here, just for demonstration purposes, I'm doing it on main. You can see how they're added and removed based on the presence of the language. Uh, hopefully that's useful. Have fun setting text. Thank you.